prepare for a radical ride of nostalgia as we take you on an epic journey back in time to the glorious era of the 80s, where Saturday mornings were the pinnacle of entertainment and cartoons reigned supreme. Get ready to dust off your leg warmers, tease your hair, and pop a fresh cassette in your boombox as we present one of the best cartoons from the 80s. Rehearsing and nursing a part We know every part by heart Overture, curtain lights This is it, we'll hit the heights And oh, what heights we'll hit On with the show, this is it Let's take a trip down memory lane with the ultimate master of mischief, Bugs Bunny, and his wacky, lovable pals in The Bugs Bunny Show. This classic 80s cartoon brings together the very best of the golden age of animation, featuring a cast of characters that will have you laughing out loud and coming back for more. From the endless battle of wits between Bugs and Daffy Duck to the hilarious antics of Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner, The Bugs Bunny Show is a non-stop roller coaster of laughter, adventure, and pure entertainment. Lights, camera, animation. The world of entertainment is full of surprises, and one of the most exciting ones is seeing our favorite movies come to life in animated form. From action-packed adventures to heartwarming tales, the list of movies turned into cartoons is endless. Join us as we count down the top 10 most popular movies that have been transformed into animated wonders, guaranteed to make you feel like a kid again. It's a challenge to turn a horror film into an animated cartoon for kids, but Gremlin Secrets of the Mogwai made it work. The show takes the adorable Gizmo and his mischievous friends and creates a prequel story that is both funny and frightening. Come get us! You know Kung Fu? The animation style is fresh and dynamic, and the story is engaging and well-crafted. While it may not have the same level of gruesome violence as the original film, it still manages to capture the spirit of the franchise while appealing to a younger audience. The Mask is a classic comedy that brings cartoonish antics and physics into the real world, creating a unique and entertaining experience. Jim Carrey's performance, coupled with early CGI, creates a living cartoon character that audiences couldn't get enough of. Freeze! Put your hands up. But you will pull me to freeze. All right, all right, on freeze. However, when the mask is adapted into an animated series, it loses some of its appeal. The charm of the movie is lost when cartoon cliches become the norm in the cartoon world. This makes the show feel less original than the live-action movie. The Fast and Furious franchise may be known for its over-the-top action and high-octane car chases, but let's face it, it's definitely not for kids. With violence, criminal activity, and sexually suggestive content, it's easy to see why parents might hesitate to let their little ones watch. But fear not, Fast and Furious Spy Racers is here to save the day. This animated spin-off keeps all the thrills and spills of the original franchise, but ditches the adult-oriented elements to make it more suitable for a younger audience. Get out of my way! Ah! And don't worry, family is still at the core of the show. Tyler Posey, of Teen Wolf fame, takes on the lead role as Dominic Toretto's cousin, Tony, ensuring that Spy Racer stays true to its roots. So if you want to introduce your kids to the world of Fast and Furious, this is the perfect way to do it. Get ready to blast off with Starship Troopers. 
this sci-fi action movie from director Paul Verhoeven not only delivers plenty of thrills, but also serves as a scathing commentary on the government's role in society. However, the message might have been lost on some adults at the time of the movie's release, making it less than ideal for a younger audience. Hey, what are we doing? Uh, I don't know. But that didn't stop the creators of Roughneck Starship Troopers Chronicles from trying. While the animated series may not include the biting satire of the original film, it still packs plenty of excitement and adventure. The show wisely tones down the graphic violence and sexual content, but still retains the core action and excitement of the source material. The Ghostbusters franchise is an iconic part of pop culture, and the original movie is a classic that has stood the test of time. However, when it came time to create an animated series based on the franchise, the creators knew they needed to make some changes to appeal to a younger audience. Thus, the real Ghostbusters was born, transforming the Ghostbusters into more traditional heroes and giving their assistant Janine a brighter, more upbeat personality. If it's haunted, we want it. Perhaps the biggest change in the animated series was the introduction of Slimer as a recurring character. In the movie, Slimer was just a random ghost the Ghostbusters encountered. But in the show, he became their friend and mascot, delighting young viewers with his antics and mischievous personality. Drive him back through the portal! <laughs> Keep it open. Overall, the real Ghostbusters proved to be a hit with kids, even if it did diverge from the movie's original street-level, cynical vibe. The show's combination of humor, action, and supernatural hijinks helped solidify Ghostbusters as one of the most beloved franchises of all time. The classic comedy duo of Lloyd and Harry from Dumb and Dumber is back but this time in animated form. As the original film title suggests, the humor comes from just how dim-witted the two friends are. But that doesn't quite cut it for a children's show. Cannot triple stamp it. No erases. No, no, make it no, through. No. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. Lloyd, you can't triple stamp a double stamp. Lloyd, Lloyd, you guys, enough. So the Dumb and Dumber animated series takes it to the next level by dumbing down Harry and Lloyd even further, if that's even possible. The show also adds a cute pet beaver named Kitty to underscore just how ridiculous Harry and Lloyd's antics can get. Despite the best efforts to make the show kid-friendly, the cartoon didn't seem to find an audience and was canceled after just 13 episodes. Get ready to blast off into a world of animated adventure. Evolution, the 2001 sci-fi comedy film, may not have been kid-friendly with its sexual humor and crude jokes, but that didn't stop it from getting its own animated series. Evolution, the animated series picks up where the film left off, as the Alienators, a team of scientists and soldiers, must face off against a new wave of alien threats known as the Genus. I captured these under the sink in the bathroom. The classic Genus Paleozoic Parturition. The what now? The first stage of evolution of the genus, from single cell life to multicellular beasties, worms, insects, it's amazing. Although the show ditches some of the more adult-themed humor of the film, it still maintains the wacky and creative spirit of the original. And let's not forget the iconic way the genus was defeated in the film by shooting shampoo up its, um, orifice. While the cartoon may not go quite that far, it still features plenty of over-the-top action and hilarious hijinks that are sure to entertain audiences of all ages. We're diving into the wacky world of Police Academy, a movie franchise that seems like an unlikely source for a kid's cartoon. The original films are known for their adult themes, including nudity and strong language. So, how do you take a property like that and turn it into a cartoon suitable for children? The answer, very carefully. Time to get thrown out. What's your name, cadet? Thompson, sir. You live around here? No, sir. What's your telephone number, Thompson? Come on, eyes front telephone number. 5552467, sir. The Police Academy animated series had to make some serious changes to fit the bill. 
For starters, the show had to tone down the adult content significantly. But fear not, the creators found plenty of ways to make the cartoon fun and engaging for kids. They created a villain named Kingpin, who bears a striking resemblance to the Marvel Comics character of the same name. And let's not forget about the Canine Corps, a group of talking police dogs who help our heroes fight crime. Okay, okay, we're leaving, fellas. This party wasn't happening anyway. Is this an example of your academy training, Lassard? I don't understand it. They're, they're usually such fine, fine officers. Sure, the show might not be as raunchy as the movies, but it still manages to capture the spirit of the original franchise. The Police Academy cartoon series is packed with action, humor, and heart. And while it may not be suitable for younger audiences, older kids and adults who grew up with the films will surely get a kick out of it. Get ready to suit up with the cyborg law enforcer, Robocop, as we take a look at how this R-rated classic made its way to the small screen in animated form. Marvel Productions, the same studio responsible for producing hits like Transformers and Gem, snapped up the rights to create a RoboCop cartoon just one year after the original film's release. You're dead! We killed you! We killed you! We killed you! But let's face it. RoboCop isn't exactly what you'd call kid-friendly material. The film is a hyper-aggressive action flick meant to satirize police militarization and societal issues of 1980s America. Let's finish him! Your time is up, boys. The animated series sticks pretty close to the film's original premise, but dials down the violence and language to make it more suitable for a younger audience. However, it's still a little odd to see a show about a robotic police officer using excessive force sandwiched between classic superhero cartoons like Spider-Man. Unfortunately, the series was short-lived, with only 12 episodes airing in the fall of 1988 before it was axed. It's no secret that turning an R-rated property like First Blood and Rambo into a cartoon suitable for kids was no easy feat. And it certainly wasn't without its fair share of controversy. The original First Blood film tackled some heavy subject matter, exploring the mistreatment of veterans and the emotional challenges they faced upon returning home. I could've killed them all. I could've killed you. I'm telling you the law, not here, it's me. Don't push it. But when it comes to the animated adaptation, Rambo the Force of Freedom, things take a different turn. Instead of a troubled veteran, we see a more sociable and Boy Scout-like John Rambo, leading a team of elite soldiers against a Cobra knockoff known as Savage and its leader, General Warhawk. I got a present for you, General! Now, we know what you might be thinking. Isn't this just a G.I. Joe ripoff? Well, yes and no. While there are definitely similarities between the two, Rambo the Force of Freedom manages to hold its own, delivering action-packed episodes filled with thrilling battles and heart-pumping excitement. Plus, the safety tips at the end of each episode are a pretty cool bonus. And that concludes our list of the top 10 most popular movies that were turned into cartoons, and these animated adaptations have provided fans with new ways to experience their favorite films. Some stayed true to the source material, while others took creative liberties, but they all brought something unique to the table. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane to a magical era of television. That's right, we're talking about the 90s, a time when Disney was king of the small screen and we were all glued to our TV sets. From talking animals to teenage superheroes, the Disney Channel had it all. So, let's hop in our time machines and count down the top 10 best Disney shows from the 90s. Take a trip to the otherworldly realm of witches and magic with Sabrina the Animated Series, a delightful spin-off of the popular live-action show. Premiering in 1999, the show features the voice talents of Melissa Joan Hart as Sabrina Spellman as she attends high school and navigates the ups and downs of being a teenage witch. 
with a talented voice cast that includes Nick Bakay and Emily Hart. Sabrina, the animated series captures the whimsy and charm of the original series. Hmm. Ah! Yeah! Oh no. Oh no you don't. Don't even think it. The show also tackles important themes like friendship, responsibility, and self-discovery in a way that's both fun and relatable. And with merchandise sales grossing over $200 million, Sabrina the Animated Series became a beloved part of the Sabrina franchise that still resonates with fans today. Dive under the sea with The Little Mermaid, the animated series based on the beloved Disney movie. With the talented Jodie Benson reprising her role as Ariel and a talented supporting cast, including Kenneth Mars as King Triton and Samuel E. Wright as Sebastian, the show captures the magic of the original movie. Why do you need a hair comb? You'd probably mm. just lose it on one of your silly adventures. My adventures are not silly. Yes, they are. And this hair comb is mine. <gasps> mine, 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 mine. Oh, father. But it's not just the charming characters and beautiful animation that make The Little Mermaid a must-watch. The show also features memorable songs, exciting new storylines, and a message of acceptance and self-discovery that resonates with viewers of all ages. Up to this day, The Little Mermaid remains a beloved part of Disney's legacy. Hakuna Matata! Join everyone's favorite meerkat and warthog duo Timon and Pumbaa for a wild and hilarious ride. Premiering in 1995, this animated series follows the pair as they embark on wacky adventures and get into all kinds of hijinks in the African savanna. With the voices of Nathan Lane and Ernie Sabella reprising their roles as Timon and Pumbaa respectively, the show captures the fun-loving spirit of the original Lion King movie. It's perfectly safe. They send people out to inspect these things, you know? <laughs> You first. But it's not just the side-splitting humor and catchy songs that make Timon and Pumbaa a must-watch. The show also offers a fresh perspective on the world of the Lion King, introducing new characters and exploring new corners of the African savanna. And with merchandise sales grossing over $500 million, Timon and Pumbaa proved to be a dynamic duo that audiences just couldn't get enough of. Get ready for some middle school madness with Pepper Ann, the animated series that premiered in 1997. The show follows the misadventures of its titular character, Pepper Ann Pearson, voiced by Kathleen Will Hoyt, as she navigates the ups and downs of life as a preteen. With a talented voice cast that includes Danny Cooksey and April Winchell, Pepper Ann captures the awkwardness and excitement of growing up. Guys, I know you're excited to see my sister, but this is kind of a family thing. Oh. That's cool. I thought that Milo and I were your family, but, uh, you know, whatever. Great! See ya! But it's not just the relatable characters and witty writing that make Pepper Ann a must-watch. The show also tackles important issues like peer pressure, self-esteem, and diversity in a way that is both entertaining and informative. Pepper Ann became a cultural touchstone for a generation of kids who were just trying to figure it all out. Step into the world of Hollywood with the famous Jet Jackson, the action-packed show that premiered in 1998. Marked by thrilling adventures and Hollywood hijinks, the show follows Jet Jackson, a young actor who stars in a popular TV series, as he struggles to balance his on-screen persona with his real-life identity. With a talented cast that includes Lee Thompson Young as Jet and Ryan Summers Baum as his best friend JB, the famous Jet Jackson captures the glamour and excitement of showbiz. You gonna fly it? Jet, what are you doing? Chill. Why you land this thing perfect? The show also tackles important issues like friendship, family, and finding your true self in a way that is both entertaining and heartwarming. Until today, fans are still re-watching the show, and it remains to be a beloved part of the Disney Channel lineup that still resonates with audiences. Take a magic carpet ride to Agrabah with Aladdin, the animated series based on the hit Disney movie of the same name. 
Premiering in 1994, the show features the voice talents of Scott Weinger and Linda Larkin as Aladdin and Princess Jasmine, as they continue their adventures with the help of their friends Genie, Abu, and Carpet. Let's see, Al plummets, Al says, oh no, Ginny poofs to the rescue. Aside from the familiar characters and setting, the show also introduces new characters and expands on the mythology of the original movie, offering fans of all ages a deeper dive into the world of Agrabah. And with a gross revenue of over $1 billion, Aladdin became a cultural phenomenon that continues to enchant audiences to this day. Ahoy, Ahoy there! there. Set, Set your, your course, course for high-flying high action, action with Tailspin, tailspin the animated, animated gem, gem that soared that onto our screens, onto our screens, in, screens the in the 90s. This swashbuckling, this swashbuckling series follows the adventures, follows of, Baloo the adventures the Bear, of Baloo the Bear, who trades in his cargo who plane, in for, his cargo plane, plane and for a seaplane and in the becomes a freelance pilot in the fictional city the show of Cape features a star The show features a star-studded cast of voice actors, including Ed Gilbert as Baloo, R.J. Williams as Kit Cloud Kicker, R.J. Williams as Kit Cloud Kicker, and Sally Struthers as Rebecca Cunningham. Having trouble remembering where the box is. Say, perhaps a night in the jungle will jog your memory. This is your last chance, boy. Is the box in the plane? Plane? What plane? I walked here. But it's not just the talented voice cast that makes Tailspin a must-watch. The show's blend of adventure, humor, and heart captured the imaginations of audiences young and old and it grossed over $35 million in merchandise sales alone. With its memorable characters, exciting aerial dogfights, and tropical locales, Tailspin is a classic Disney show that will leave you cheering for more. So buckle up and get ready to take to the skies with Baloo and his friends. Let's get dangerous with the daring and dashing Darkwing Duck. This classic Disney animated series premiered in 1991 and introduced audiences to the crime-fighting hero Darkwing Duck, a.k.a. Drake Mallard, voiced by the talented Jim Cummings. Emerges, huh? This ought to rule that out! No! Don't hurt my baby! <laughs> With his sidekick Launchpad McQuack by his side, Darkwing Duck fights to keep the fictional city of St. Canard safe from a rogue's gallery of villains, including his arch-nemesis Negaduck. But it's not just the action-packed adventures and colorful characters that make Darkwing Duck a must-watch. The show also features a clever mix of humor, satire, and superhero tropes that appeal to both kids and adults. <laughs> And with its catchy theme song, stylish animation, and merchandise sales grossing over $230 million, Darkwing Duck became a beloved part of 90s pop culture. If you're looking for a show that perfectly captures the ups and downs of childhood, then Recess is the perfect choice for you. This classic animated series premiered in 1997 and quickly became a fan favorite thanks to its relatable characters and witty writing. Oh, baby, just you wait till recess. I can hardly wait for the lunch in the cafeteria. My fifth grade taste buds are much more sophisticated, you know. As for me, well, believe it or not, I actually look forward to being in class. What the? Recess follows a group of six elementary school students as they navigate the ups and downs of recess, schoolyard politics, and growing up. The show features an all-star cast of voice actors, including Andrew Lawrence, Pamela Adlon, and Jason Davis. It's jammed! Stand back, I've got just the stuff. Tomato surprise. It's not just the talented voice cast that makes Recess a beloved show. It's also the relatable stories and themes that the show explores such as the importance of friendship, standing up for yourself, and accepting differences. And with a gross revenue of over $2 billion in merchandise sales alone, Recess is a cultural phenomenon that has stood the test of time. Get ready for a spine-tingling journey with So Weird, the supernatural show that premiered in 1999. The show follows Fiona Phillips, 
a teenage girl with a passion for the paranormal as she travels with her rock star mom on tour and encounters all kinds of spooky phenomena, with the talented Mackenzie Phillips as Molly Phillips and Cara Delizia as Fiona. So Weird captures the eerie and atmospheric tone of classic ghost stories. What? The turn signal. But it's spooky not just the haunting that mysteries so weird and must spooky watch. settings the that show also tackles so complex issues watch. like grief, the show loss, also tackles and identity complex in a way that is like both grief, empathetic and loss, thought-provoking. And identity in a way that is both empathetic and thought-provoking. The 90s was a golden era for Disney shows, and the top 10 we've explored today are a testament to that. So whether you're a 90s kid looking to relive some nostalgic memories or a newcomer looking for some classic Disney entertainment, these shows are a must-watch. So go ahead, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the magic of these timeless tales from the 90s.